Hey Spuddies, Potemic Whiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as China. Now where we left off, we were in the process of making our way towards a few different goals. We are trying to get as many amphitheaters and theater squares out right now as we can. We're also playing with the eight ages of eras, eight, eight, I'm sorry, let me say that again, eight ages of pace mod. And I think it's actually making the game feel pretty interesting. I don't know if I like it more yet, but I, I, it's certainly interesting. I'm going to chop out the monument here because that's also going to improve the speed at which I can get the theater square. Let's continue to chop around here to speed this city up. Somebody built Petra, that's fine. I, I, did, I didn't really have an, a good option for a Petra city. Uh, maybe if I had spawned as Australia, I could have like settled somewhere here, gotten some fresh water and gotten a good Petra, you know, but I, I don't think it was worth it for me to try to do it. You know, I, I don't think desert alone makes a good Petra. I think you need desert with at least like five to six hills. That really is what makes a Petra. Okay, let's have a look here. I'm going to, I need farms here to help the city grow. So chopping that for the little bit of food and stuff. Um, I'll grab the market. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Isn't there a timing thing that I need to do? There is. I've been going the wrong route. I need to go to Divine, right? I need to go Mercenaries. I need to go to... I need to... I need to... I need to actually go for Divine, right? I forgot about this. I need Divine, right, so that I can build walls quickly. I need to find all three levels of the walls here. So the next thing, I need to go over Siege Tactics. So this is all going to hopefully time out really well. We'll see if we can get this to time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get in position to get exploration and then I'm going to go for divine right. I should have already been at divine right. This is this has been a bit of a mistake already. Yeah, I'm going to go for divine right. Oh, should I finish mercenaries though? No, I'm just going to beeline divine right right now. I can't believe I made that mistake. I forgot about the ancient walls tourism thing late game. But it is what it is and we'll we'll be able to fix that long term. Uh, I'm going to get to work on the aqueduct to give the city something to grow into. There we go. Very good. Yep, I want to get this online. You go ahead and go to sleep in there. I do have the ability to get crossbowmen, which is nice. I want to keep, it, keep an eye on my gold. So, a farm here would be good to help the city grow. I'll lock that farm in. That'll provide me with a little bit of growth. What tiles are you working? You're working this, 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 and this. I possibly want to chop another jungle here. Go ahead and grab that. Can I trade that to someone? How about you? I think I already gave you a gift of tea, but you denounced me like a jerk. We've got a builder coming out in our capital. Yes, please establish an embassy in my capital. Okay, I'm keeping up in terms of science, but I need to get ahead in terms of culture now. Knowledge of astronomy, astronomy has increased. Okay, I need to get these production tiles up and running. Um, this is where the theater square goes. This is where the commercial hub goes in this city, right? Yes. I'm going to purchase the barracks to give the city plus one production. Need to help it keep going. I'm going to get my theater square now. That is going to hurt this farm's productivity, but that's not the end of the world. We've got a university in here. That's good. Uh, this city needs to keep growing. Gonna grab the monument for the extra culture because I need to get ahead in terms of culture. You're you're still growing pretty good. And get me the very final settler of the game. Get 
Okay, I have two envoys. I'm going to send them to Amsterdam. This should result in a significant increase in the amount of gold I have in my empire. I'm talking like maybe... Uh, if I up refresh here... Yeah, like nearly doubled, which is pretty damn good. Right. Another chop here. Ah, okay. So he seems pretty upset with me. Tech boost gain for astronomy, that's good. These are fairly expensive buildings. But when we get to conservation up here, they will provide a lot of bonus tourism. Oh, I, found, <laughs> I found Mount Kilimanjaro. Awesome. Discover Mount Kilimanjaro next turn. Your cities are too close. You're making me nervous. Okay, so he's uh, he's worried about me because I have too many cities and they're too big and they're all up in his face. We just got military engineering. Let's claim our great person. This will be the great merchant. It'll give me an extra trade route, which is really nice. Speaking of trade routes, I have been neglecting these things. Okay, people are getting upset with me because I'm doing what I'm doing really well. Uh, this city already has a trade route, so I think Shanghai needs a trade route. I think... You also need a trader. And then... Yeah, then we'll kind of hold off for now. Okay, you created the monument. I would like to grab the workshop. That'll provide me with even more production. Market. I think the workshop... I'd like to get more engineer points to be able to stay competitive here. Choose production here. Um, we got our market. How long? You need two more pop. So I'm going to trade with Jean. That'll provide you with more food and stuff like that. What's your food surplus? 3.5. That's not very good. Let's harvest here. We're up to six pop now. Ancient walls. So I think I'm going to grab some traders in here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities, and I have four traders. So I need to make sure I have them all going, firing in all cylinders. Right, we got our commercial hub here. Grab yourself a builder. Well, what's the next thing? Probably a theater square would be the next thing, but I need the... Um, I want to chop with builders, so I'm going to go builder first. Over here in Shanghai, we just finished our thingy. You have four more charges, that's good. Okay, what is going to be your first district? This city doesn't have very good options for production. Um... Theater Square would be pretty damn good. Could get an industrial zone pretty quick, actually. And that would provide adjacency bonuses for this city. But this city is planning on building its own industrial zone. Commercial Hub would be like the ideal thing. Just like, hey, look, get me more you know, gold and stuff. Although I would like to build it on this thing. So maybe we'll hold off. Um, I'm gonna, actually, you know what? Entertainment District. It'd be good to get ahead of the curve on this. If I put it here, then when I get my commercial hub down here, I'm gonna purchase that. Then when I put my commercial hub down here, whatever I put here would have extra adjacency. Probably a campus I'm gonna put right there. Entertainment Complex right there. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a lumber mill. So these tiles are now way more productive. I'm gonna lock that in now because it's so good. One food and production as a priority here. And you're going to continue to chop. Probably next turn when you actually, you know, when that settler is out of your way. Yeah, you don't have enough food to grow. That's rough. More trade routes. Scout units available for a promotion. Alpine. Next turn.
Okay, choose production over here. Huh, okay, traders. I do need more of those, but I actually have all my trade route capacity sort of sewn up. All right, so yeah, I want you to trade with Jian. Jian. I also want you to trade with Jian. Jian is like the place to trade with because it gives me the most that I can tell. That food and production is really, really helpful. You're going to be moved to the capital to be uh, sent out somewhere to get its own little bit of production and stuff. You could keep making builders to send out to my empire. You could build ancient walls, but I would rather do that with the bonus production and stuff. So we'll see. Now go ahead and get the amphitheater. I think getting amphitheaters up is 100% worth it for the victory condition that I'm going for. How close are we to getting another one of these? Okay, so let's check. I wish there was a way to filter this list. Okay, so I'm probably not going to get the next great writer. Am I? I'll... Good chance I get the next great scientist, though. Maybe. Someone might get there, get there before me. There's a reasonable chance I don't get this great scientist, great writer, but the next one after, there's a very good chance I get it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, continue to chop. Drop another farm. I want to work these farms if I can. I might even go as far as to purchase this to make a farm triangle. Uh, undo that. So I don't mind spending a little bit of gold here and there to do good stuff for my empire. How are we doing in terms of ranking? Okay, we have more science than most people. Okay, so that's really good. We're in a good position that way. We have more culture than anyone. We're not making the most tourism, but that's that's not the that's not the part we have to worry about. We can get tourism. Tourism isn't hard to get. We just need to make sure we don't fall behind technologically. Okay. There. I'm not interested in that deal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would like to swap <laughs> swap these. And you'd also like to buy tea off me. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept this deal. I'm hoping that by trading with him, it makes him less likely to want to go to war with me. We just swapped, uh, we just swapped Great Works. Amphitheater in Chengdu. I do want the extra culture here, actually. The extra culture here will mean it claims more tiles. Uh, let's see. I have another envoy. I'm gonna save them up, although I am. I am the leader of Amsterdam. That's a lot of culture on Kumasi. I need to get more exploration done. Uh, who are you going to trade with? I think you're going to trade with Longxi. And in fact, I'm probably going to redirect all of my trade routes to Longxi, at least in the short term. Go ahead and chop here. A few more chops going here. Next turn. I feel like I'm doing really well. Even, I know it's only Emperor, but I feel like I'm doing really, really well. I, I actually, I think, I think maybe, I don't know if it was the mod that was causing me issues the last game. I think it might have been just I was in a really shitty position. Yeah, look at this. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of adjacency. Go ahead and get yourself another builder. Chop here. I'm gonna want the third farm up here. Where could use another builder? Probably up in Chengdu. And then you'll get yet another one. Yep, yeah, lumber mill here. Awesome. So now I have two really good production tiles. That's gonna help the city out a lot. It didn't really have very good production. Uh, more farms are going to be good too, to help further develop the city. Especially since I want to be getting more districts in here. In particular, I want to get the industrial zone. I also want to get the commercial hub uh, to make this. I want to make this like a really good 
city to send trade routes internally to, basically. So I want to get the commercial hub and the industrial zone. Go on to the next turn. I'm going to be settling this soon, which means I'll be able to drop another campus here, which would be really, really good. It would be a really good, really good campus. Pretty much this city is basically just a campus. Pretty much this city is only here to provide a campus here and an encampment here. That's all this city's goal is to do. Anything beyond that is like, you know, bonus. Also, you know, building walls would be nice too. I cannot afford another trader here. This is another city that I'm going to want to pretty much rush out a commercial hub. My districts have gotten way more expensive. You can see here 102 production. Let's say commercial hub harbor. So I'm going to kill the cattle. I have to live with that. Live with that kill. Next turn. Destruction of the earth. So yeah, he's kind of upset that I'm like harvesting all these resources, but I mean, what else am I going to do? You know, kind of, I can't really, can't do anything but do that. Okay, here we go. In my capital, I will get the amphitheater because that's going to give me extra great rider points, which is potentially going to get me um, another great rider. I probably won't get the next one. It'll probably be the one after. We're about to get divine right. That's going to mean... It's time to get walls everywhere. Probably can delay this a little. I'll go as far as to stop at mercenaries. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to delay it a little. Be and the reason I'm delaying it is that Okay, I want to harvest this, and then I want to harvest the bananas. Uh, the reason I'm delaying it is because I want to get this city down so that it can get the production boost towards the walls as well. Okay, we got our third farm out. I'm going to work that. So this is going to provide me with a lot of food for this city to grow. So this is going to help the city immensely to get it up and running. Happy days. We'll go into our next turn. Unit needs orders. More farms, I think, is a reasonable approach to take. Next turn. City has progressed to the medieval era. F from the medieval era to the renaissance era. Okay. Choose civic. Yes. I'm going to... I need to delay this. Or maybe, maybe I'll just accept. I'll just accept that this city is going to be late in building its walls. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab in here. What do you need? You could do it another builder. I've got builders just cracking out, man. I'm, I'm seriously developing my terrain really, really fast. That's the power of... Um, it's the power of Egypt, especially when you get the... Or, or not Egypt, sorry. It's the power... I said Egypt because I had the pyramids. It's the power of China when you get the pyramids, you know? Okay, so you need to keep growing. You're about to grow, so what could you do for one turn? I'll get another scout because I do want more information about the world. I have three envoys. I'm going to drop them in Amsterdam again. This is going to further skyrocket my gold income. Up to 80 gold per turn. That's really, really, really going to be very useful for developing these late settles. Uh, in particular, stuff like purchasing builders in them. Okay, this scout here is ready. So pretty much the first thing I'm going to work on is an encampment. Encampment into campus. And this is hopefully going to provide me with... Probably going to be like encampment into walls or something. We'll see. I'll go here, drop the farm. Harvest that. So this city has grown really really fast which is nice it's working all these tiles the only problem is it's kind of outgrown its ability to uh to it's it's outgrown its culture really fast okay so we're going to want one more mine over here i'm thinking right here if i were to put a 
industrial zone here would get adjacency bonuses and three mine adjacencies. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Why don't you run over to Chang Changsha? I have another trader here. I'm going to trade with Long Longxi because it actually provides me with more production. That one production, you know, it's not a huge difference, but it makes a difference, you know? Okay, so everyone is denouncing me. I need to be careful of that. I need to be careful of my army. I've been really, I've been extremely greedy. I haven't built any army at all. I do feel though I'm pretty well defended. I have a lot of, I have, I have a lot of really hard to attack into terrain. Let's get our mine up. So I got another scout here. That's good news. Let's check the old demographics actually. That's something I need to keep an eye on. Okay, we are bottom of the barrel in terms of text research, but we are actually making a pretty reasonable amount of science. That's good. We're not top culture, but we are close. He's about to get another great writer, that's fine. I'm about to get another great scientist. Great merchant is on the way. I would really like to get this great engineer. I don't know if I will be able to get it though. It's a possibility. It is a possibility. Okay, I have the theater square. Industrial zone here. Aqueduct. Campus, holy site. Industrial zone. If I put it right there, if I put it here, I could get one, two, three, four adjacency bonuses. If I put it here, I get one, two, three, four. So four, here's here's perfectly fine. And then I can do like campus or something over here. So I'm going to drop the one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll also be in range of Shanghai. So there we go. Okay, market. Uh, this city needs its next thing. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to get Celestial Nav. I'm going to go... I'll go Siege Tactics into Celestial Navigation. I need to pick up my pet coastal. I need to pick up the harbor. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, we finished the amphitheater. Some undeveloped tiles in here. I'm going to need another builder. Jesus, I'm, I've made so many builders in this game. Builder completed. Go ahead and get the Jade online. There we go. Boom. That's nice. You will also want to get your next district. Probably chopping there. I'll spend a few turns on the market. Go ahead and get your commer commercial hub. Uh, go get those sheep online. More farms. Happy days. Very, very nice. Uh, let's unlock these because these farms over here are better. An extra f one food each. We're up to a potential of 12 population here. Two more people and then we'll be able to make a fairly significantly huge thingy. Okay, next turn. Uh, I'm not interested in trading away my great works, I'm afraid. I do, something I do want to do is I want to get up to diplomatic service, right? This is, yeah. So I'll probably go like divine right into diplomatic service because I want to get my spies out fairly soon to start stealing some of these great works. Okay, you built a great, you built a builder. Go ahead and get started on a market. So let's see here. What's your food surplus? You've got 11 food surplus, so I definitely could afford to work a, uh, a mine tile, a desert mine. So go up there and get that started. Go ahead and drop a mine here. We'll go ahead and force work that. We'll get the next mine online. You're gonna grow in a certain amount of turns. I would actually like to purchase the granary here just to help this city out a little. Help it grow and get up to its potential. This would be one, two, three, four. So I could probably drop an aqueduct here as well in this city. And I will do that. I'll probably want to chop that forest first. Uh, yeah, go ahead and chop that marsh. That'll help this city grow again. Very nice. Drop more farms around here. And uh, let's go into, oh, let's check here. So Chichen Itza, housing in Guangzhou, promise of the Australian Empire. And we have barbarians in Changsha. Changsha. 
Okay, Divine Right in two turns. Very, very good. Run over here. I actually want to get the, the gold, the chocolate online first. A lot of these units, they, uh, they're sending them on my borders and stuff. I have to be, be careful and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. Your people settle too close. Uh, apologies, I will look elsewhere in the future. So he's a little bit upset about how I've been settling. Right, we've got an amphitheater in here. That's again, another step towards a great rider. Okay, I'm going to pick up the monument because it's a one turn build. I'm also going to pick up the monument here. It wants me to settle here, but I think here is better. Unit needs orders. Go into alert mode. Drop another farm. Pasture, get up onto the chocolate. Let's see here. Yep, another mine here. I'm going to make sure that it's working, that mine. I want to make sure I have all these tiles locked. Okay, very good. And then we'll go into our next turn. This, I re actually, I'm, I'm really liking the pacing of this mod now that I've gotten a good start. I think it might have been just that I got a bad start in that India game. I do want to go back and I do want to play an India game, actually. Perhaps a religious victory could be the route we take. Okay, we got a great scientist. This is not a very good scientist. It will give me a lot of science, though. And the Eurekas are actually better for me. But I'm probably going to be upset when I see the next one. Actually, no, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. So this is going to trigger the Eureka for a few things. Siege tactics. Well, that actually finished that up pretty early for me. And now I can also switch over to monarchy here. It's going to hurt my amenities because I no longer get the amenities, but I can slap in I, um, retainers. I can also put in the 100% production towards defensive buildings and as a bonus, if I can find it. Reduce my unit maintenance. Hmm. So I want to make sure I have all my military units inside cities if it's available. That'll give me the, it'll kind of help me with the amenities that I'm missing. Ancient walls, ancient walls. So pretty much everywhere is going to be switching over to ancient walls. to try and get those built in a reasonable amount of time, Ex with the exception of some of these cities like that. You'll finish your market, you'll finish your builder, you'll finish your monument. What, what were you working on? I don't remember what you were working on. But anyway, we'll drop another mine here. We'll work that mine because it's definitely worth it. Culture, science, production, what more could you ask for? Let's go here and we'll drop a farm. We will also drop a plantation here. It's going to make sure I have that tile locked in. Some good stuff. Excellent. This land needs to be developed, unfortunately. Chop here. Do I want to work those bananas? Hmm. Do I want to work the banana? Do I want to work the banana tile? That's a hard choice. I think, I think I'm going to keep the banana. I'm going to keep the banana nice and safe right here. Put a plantation on it. Be a good gold generation tile. It's not terrible. You know, it's, I think it's worthwhile the keeping. Let's go siege tactics. Actually, let's go ahead and check. So it looks like we picked up steam power, sanitation. That's good. And siege tactics. You want to trade thingies? I'm not interested, thank you. So let's see. We've got walls popping out pretty much everywhere. Medieval walls, two turns. Ancient walls. Ancient walls. Medieval walls. Ancient walls. 
go ahead and get that online. Harvest that for the city. Excellent. Ancient walls get to work on that. Train of Frigate. Guilds. Haven't been really paying attention to the city-states much. I think I have pretty much all I need, which is a single a single mercantile city-state on my side is basically all I need to like dominate the game as far as I can tell. Right. Uh, the cattle, getting the cattle online would be good, so I will do that. I'll go ahead and chop here, and then I'll get the medieval walls out in one turn. I'm going to want more Great Wall, I think. Let's go ahead and get the cattle online, or the sheep rather, not the cattle. It's a pasture, you know, <laughs> it's all the one. Are sheep cattle? Do sheep count as cattle? I think they might. Oh, my unit was captured by barbarians. Oh, that's annoying. Can I purchase a uh, chariot to try and deal with that? Okay, I'm going to drop a mine here. That's going to give this city a good production tile to work. Renaissance walls are expensive. That's the thing I have to watch out for here. Right. Uh, I would like to pick up Niter to be able to see it because it's a, it'll be a tile improvement in my empire. And then under that same sort of logic, I would like to get industrialization. Because that's going to give me coal. It's also going to provide me with a lot of other stuff. Uh, neighborhood sanitation. What's next on the cards for me? Radio. I want to get the radio for the uh, great musician points. So that's kind of radio into computers, probably. But I think industrialization is the right pathway here. Medieval walls, medieval walls, medieval walls, medieval walls. Drop a great wall here. Now these tiles, excuse me, now these tiles are workable. Two food, one production, or three, three production and a gold and a culture isn't bad. Plus these will provide tourism later. You can stay in that city and protect it. I will be going here to drop a mine. You can move down this way. Drop a pasture. I'll do like two more turns. I'll do two more turns. I'm enjoying myself, so I don't want to end the episode, even though I should. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll trade with Long Shi again, because that's going to give me more production. Trade route. Mont St. Michael. That was a captured thingy. Promises stop settling and banking plus 50%. Excellent. I don't want to stop. I'm having too much fun. I'm really, I'm actually really enjoying this mod. It's uh, it's really great. Okay, so then that's going to be Renaissance walls. I could build another district. I will place down the commercial hub, but I won't actually build it. I just want to lock in its price. And a sort of similar thing over here. I will place down the theater square but I won't actually build it because I don't have things for that right yet. We're getting all our walls out. That's going to be six culture per city, or six tourism per city, rather, that I managed to complete that in. Okay, you can head over here, try and catch up. What are the chances that there would be an archer over here to capture that builder? We're already getting our Renaissance walls up here. Go ahead and chop out that jungle. We will settle a city here. We will go as far as to purchase a builder and you're going to basically just work on ancient walls and stuff like that too. So I could do more um, great walls. Is that worth it? I don't know if it is. I think maybe a lot, like four great walls over here would be great eventually. That would be something that would be cool. Let's have a look at the Great Wall improvement again. I just want to make sure... Wall. Each Great Wall would provide adjacency. Hmm. The problem is these could be really good mine tiles. That's like my only problem with this. Um, they're just, you know... Walls aren't bad, don't get me wrong. Great Wall isn't bad. 
Oh, I want to lock in the price of another district. And it's probably going to be the encampment. I'm going to lock in it over here. And then we'll go back for the medieval walls. So that made that decision here. So we'll have two little bits of wall here. That's fine. That'll do. A little bit of culture out of that. Um, I want to go chop that. Unit needs orders. Drop a pasture. Unit needs orders. And okay, so we got this stuff online. I want to harvest all this stone. Although I might keep this quarry stone because it's um it's on flatland. I will chop out this forest here though, next turn if I can manage it. Um this is gonna be the very last turn this next turn. We went a little bit over time, just for fun. Uh I'm not interested in trading away my most valuable items for my victory condition. We're on track to get the next great rider. Uh, we need to actually... I should have gone for humanism. I don't know why I didn't. It was a big, big mistake on my part. How are we doing for science and culture? We're a little bit behind, but we should be fine. Medieval walls. Excellent. And go up here. Renaissance walls. So we should be finishing up all this wall stuff fairly quickly. You get this. Okay, saved my builder. Full seven charges on him. Happy days. Can you... You can't actually attack into there. Interestingly. Gonna drop a mine here. Yep, drop the plantation. Uh, I think a lumber mill here makes sense. Although, if I were to drop a farm, it would get some adjacency stuff. I think I'll put the lumber mill. Yeah, the lumber mill seems okay to me. Let's see. Okay, yeah, you're working this. I want to lock in the good stuff. I'm going to drop a mine here. Right, 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 right. And yet another mine would be good right there. And we're going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.